Welcome back, Sethling here, and today I want to show you an achievement I did recently in Super Mario World. It's called a Credits Warp, and basically I beat the game, in a manner of speaking, in six minutes, which is faster than anyone has ever beat the game on console. Now, the way I beat the game is a little bit different. I didn't go through the game and then beat Bowser and then kiss the princess. Uh, basically, I executed a very complex glitch, and so you'll see that during the run today. Now, this glitch was discovered, and the setup was created by Jeff W. 356. He uh, he did a run with the glitch about six, no, eight months ago, and uh, and he his time was five minutes, so his time is still the world record. Although it wasn't really recognized as a world record until basically until I was able to finish this run and prove that it was possible in console. Okay, let me just briefly say um, what you're looking at here. I go through the level and get Yoshi and get a mushroom and die just so that I'll have a mushroom in the item reserve box. Um, that's the only purpose of going through the level the first time. Now, I'll explain the glitch uh, as I'm doing it. I won't explain what's happening, but basically the idea is that I'm kind of writing code as I play the game. So I go into this pipe here, I grab a block. Um, I need one of these blocks in order to do something later and it's gonna be hard to explain but I'll I'll try and explain when I get there then okay so this run uh, did not go well at the beginning <laughs> the speed run did not go well at the beginning so the goal here is I'm trying to take one of the th one of these uh, holdable throwable blocks called a throw block and put it next to a P switch and then grab both at the same time the way that I do it is very fast, but it has a 50% chance of failing, which isn't too bad. Obviously, you'd expect within a couple attempts you should get it. Uh, it took more than a couple attempts in this run, and that is why my time was so much worse than Jeff W's time. Um, so you'll see that. Uh, I have to do this in order to... Well, it's kind of complicated. <laughs> I'm going to say that a lot, I think, during this commentary. It's kind of complicated, but I have to do it in order to get the P-Switch into a certain sprite slot. I don't even know what happened there. I've never stepped on that switch before while trying to trying to grab the block and the switch at the same time. But I'm trying to get the P-Switch into a certain sprite slot, and that's why I have to do this. I'm not really going to explain it any further. I think I might get it pretty soon here. <laughs> Still not. Anyway, what I'm doing during this glitch is I'm setting up the game's memory and I'm going to be putting things in particular locations and by doing so I'm going to write binary into certain parts of the Super Nintendo's RAM. Alright, finally got the double grab so I, I'm holding both a P-switch and a throw block at the same time and by by putting certain memory bits in certain parts of the RAM um, I'm going to then execute a glitch which will execute those bits as if they were code. So I'm sort of hot patching the game while playing by placing things in certain locations. So I got rid of that P switch and loaded another P switch. Anyway, it doesn't really matter. Um, here I'm bringing these, the throw block all the way over here. Um, I, my goal right now is I want to grab this shell. And I <laughs> sort of have to juggle these two items. If they touch each other, they'll break. And if I hit, say, like this charge and chuck, uh, the run will be over because I need to have him alive later. Um, I can't... I have to make sure the throw block doesn't hit the side of a block because it'll break. There's just a lot of constraints and I really have to be careful not to destroy either the shell or the throw block. I killed the moles. This is a new strategy that I came up with. Um, well, first I have to use the mushroom and the vine. Those are for technical reasons. I have to do that. I put the block there, do that, and scroll. Anyway, uh, when the block breaks, it kind of has fragments that break off and I need to despawn those fragments at certain Y coordinates. And so the setup that I have there is a pretty reliable setup to do that. Here I'm taking the new P-switch that I loaded. This is in the correct sprite slot. And I'm putting it in a very particular location. So you'll see me kind of fidget with the P-switch a little bit. Trying to get into an, an exact X-coordinate. So I got it there and I just leave it behind. And that'll stay there and that will write certain bits that I need into the game's memory. Now I'm going to go, I'm going to destroy some things along the way. This guy, this guy. I'm going to load Yoshi, but I'm going to make sure that Yoshi's shell breaking animation isn't on screen. If it was, it would overwrite the data that I wrote by the block fragments earlier. I took damage there intentionally. That's actually, I need to be small Mario in order for this glitch to work. Um, I do a little thing with the shells. That looks kind of cool. So here I'm placing seven different shells in precise coordinates. 
This is really important that they're in the exact X coordinate. It's also important how far they are off the ground when they break. The first five shells that I break, it's not so important. Uh, the next two shells that I break, the last two shells that I break, it's very important that they're close to the ground, or at least that one of them is close to the ground. And um, But otherwise, I'm just trying to get these into the correct X coordinate. These guys, I'm just trying to break them far off the ground, actually, which is pretty easy. It's, it's hard to break them close to the ground, though, because when they're close to the ground, they have a high velocity down, and it's just kind of tough. So then kill these guys. I have to make sure that coop is dead. Then get these in X positions, and I want to try and break them close to the ground, although you'll notice I don't do a very good job of it. They, they're actually, these two shells are both kind of at the pinnacle of their uh, path, and you can see me shaking my head on camera there because I thought that ruined the run, that it wasn't going to be possible. So <laughs> for the next uh, 20 seconds or so, I was dejected thinking it wasn't possibly going to work. Anyway, I execute a glitch called the item swap that I'm not going to explain because it would take too long. And it runs the code that I wrote, and you can see <laughs> I was very surprised that it worked. Uh, this is the credits warp, and this has never been done on console before on the actual Super Nintendo. Like I said, Jeff W. 356 did a run on emulator, got about five minutes. My time was about six minutes. Um, I do plan on working more and trying to get my time down below Jeff's time uh, with some of the new strats that I I have and uh, that I came up with. Um, it shouldn't be too hard to beat his time, but uh, but I really want to thank Jeff Dilly 356. the The glitch is really technical. It involved him disassembling the code and figuring out exactly. <laughs> you can look how excited I am on the camera. And it, it figured it involved him figuring out exactly how to manipulate the memory in just the right way to run the code that would play the credits. And it's a, it's a very difficult glitch to pull off. It took me quite a few tries. This is my, you can see on screen, it says 158th attempt at this, uh, at this category. So it took me quite a few tries to, to even get it just my first time. Um, but I did get it, and this is the first time anyone's ever done it on the console. You'll notice that the credits started playing kind of halfway through. Uh, it didn't even list off the cast members or the programmers or anything for the game. Um, so it's kind of a wonky credit credits warp thingy. Um, some people do consider it beating the game, some people don't. Uh, I mean, I think I think most speedrunners consider it to be actually beating the game, although it's kind of in a different category from actually beating Bowser. So this would be the current world record for console uh, speedruns on Super Mario World. Uh, it's not the world record overall because, like I said, Jeff W. got a five minute time on his run. Um, in a moment, we'll see the VN screen confirming that I did, in fact, with air quotes around it, beat the game. There we go. So, very cool glitch. Uh, if you want to read more about how it works, I've linked to a page. Um, hopefully it's up because recently it's been down from all the traffic from just my viewers going to it. Uh, and then I have some other stuff linked in the video description that's related to the glitch. So if you want to know more about this, uh, go check out the video description. I'm going to be doing more speedruns if you're you know watching this around the time that I recorded it. So you know, make sure you follow me on Twitch, twitch.tv slash sethbling if you want to see those. I'm going to get try and get that time down and see how fast I can do it. Anyway, I just want to share share this with you guys. Uh, it's, I've been working on this for about the past week or so, doing nothing but this, pretty much. So uh, it's kind of a big achievement for me, and I just want to share. That's about it. Thanks for watching.